We're here in San Diego at the 100th anniversary uh, celebration of naval aviation. I'm talking to a uh, pilot here of uh, PB2 Harpoon, which is the plane we brought here today. I'm Ken Terpster from the Stockton Field Aviation Museum. You are? I'm John Leap. John Leap. Good to meet you. Very good to meet you. Could you tell us uh, some of your experience in the PB2 Harpoon and where you served and uh, some of the things you did? Well, basically, I served uh, my uh, combat time in the uh, Lucian Islands at, uh, from ADAC. At two, and we flew up the Kuralees Islands and uh, did uh, bombing and strafing runs on the Japanese airstrip up there. And then we also had uh, uh, vector flights for possible submarines. Pretty cold. Uh, I bet. The weather was bad. But, uh, these things could uh, take a pounding. Uh, we went through uh, static electricity uh, problems uh, on the way out of Attu, where we could. Uh, actually see the Hamilton Standard seal on all three blades. So when you looked out the side of the cockpit, it was like a high-speed camera. Yeah. Really? It, uh, it was pretty scary, and we picked up uh, uh, the, uh, static electricity on our windscreen, and it would uh, turn green. Wow. Emerald green. Yeah. And I, could, uh, I, I can't remember right now what they St. Elmo's Fire? That's yeah. it. Yeah. St. Elmo's Fire. Exactly. Dance along the leading edge, anything that could hang on. Wow. That, uh, we had, uh, we had uh, 450s in the nose, we had two 230s in the stinger, we had 250s on the turret, and uh, then they added a chin turret, the, the, the lighter part, and we put a 20 in there. Yeah, I never had that. Good, good airplane. Did you ever have rockets on the wing? Not, not, not while I was there. Later on, they did, they, they, I think, because they sent some of these over to uh, uh, the islands in the Pacific, and they were using them on the And what, what kind of ordnance did you drop from it? We dropped uh, uh, 500 pound bombs, and we dropped 250 pound bombs. Uh, Is it interchange. And that's what you use mostly? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. How about torpedoes? We had torpedoes, we had Mark 48s, but we never, when we go on a, on a, on a vector search for anti-submarine patrol, carry the torpedo, we'd alternate. We'd carry one torpedo, one plane would carry a torpedo, another one would carry depth charges. So, oh, wow. so we had a combination of both ways. So oh, wow. if, yeah. if you couldn't use the torpedo, the other guy could drop the cans. That's cool. Wow. Me. Now, did you ever encounter any enemy aircraft when you were on? Not me, no. We, but we had uh, two, uh, two air crews and a squadron that we relieved that uh, shot down two zeros wow. up there. Actually, uh, they caught up. They caught the zero. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Well, stories are they could just hammer this thing down well, and run away from those guys whenever they got it's in trouble. It's a flying airplane. That they, yeah. Thing moves. Yep. Wow. And what squadron are you from? BP one three six. BP one three six. And what years did you serve? Nineteen forty three. The latter part of nineteen forty four. Well, hey, thank you for your service. Okay. If I get choked up a little bit, it's because, you know, you guys are my heroes. Yes. So you're from right here in California. Oh, yeah. And where did you train when you first got in the Navy? For I went to, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I started my primary training in Olathe, Kansas. Yeah. And I was uh, 19 years old. And then from there I went to Corpus Christi. From Corpus Christi, I went to Lake City, Florida. Yeah, that's where we started flying ones. And then from there to Beaufort, South Carolina, NAS, and Whitby Island. Wow. And then, yeah. And then, and then out. <laughs> How was it up there? Pretty rough? Yeah, it was it was awful cold. <laughs> you didn't go outside very much. Yeah. Well I've seen pictures of you guys bundling up, putting your survival oh, yeah. suit on over the top oh, of everything, and yeah. just sitting up there with all that stuff on it. Yeah. What kind of gear did you wear? Do you have full leathers? Yeah, sheepskins. Fleece, sheepskins. Yeah. 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 Boots. Wow. Yeah. We, we couldn't take our hands out of the gloves until we got inside. Then we'd take them off so we could get a hold of the yoke and throw them in the morning. You wore, wore a parachute too, I guess, in the seat? No. No? no we couldn't. Okay. Parachute was, was, was an afterthought because you had to stack the. the uh, we couldn't wear seat packs, you had to wear a chest pack. So oh, we yeah. had the harness on over our leathers, but the chutes were in a rack behind the radio compartment. Okay. So they sat in the rack. So if anything happens, how much time are you going to have to get out of your seat? Exactly. Grab the chute, snap it onto your 
and your harness, yeah. you know, and then dunk out. You're not. So as far as we were concerned, they were just luggage. Exactly. And did you guys make any modifications to your plane to fit your specific needs? Other than what the Navy provided you, nothing like that. Did you have a name for your plane at all? Any nose art or anything? Or no, we had we had a picture of a uh, porpoise on it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I did, just the porpoise didn't have any name on it at all. Just Dolly. Dolly. Wow, <laughs> that's good. And yeah. the other guys had uh, uh, Donald Duck mm -hmm. on top of a torpedo mm -hmm. <laughs> with rings. <laughs> that's wow. cool. <laughs> and when you guys put your nose art on on. The, the harpoon. I see a lot of it's back towards the tail instead of that's where up the, that's towards where the, the Donald Duck was. Really? But, yeah. But the, but the uh, porpoise would be kind of start up on the nose. Side of the nose. Yeah. And, and what's the significance of the name Dolly? Was that your girl during the? It's one of the guys. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I think it was the our aviation machinist mate. Wow. Yeah. He took care of the airplane. Sure. It was his that airplane. Was, it was his airplane. Yeah, that's right. Just loans it to you. That's it. That's it. Is it okay if we fly it? You That's know? right. Yeah. That's what I heard. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Thank you for your service, sir. Okay. Thank really you. appreciate Thank it. You.